Good morning and Merry Christmas everyone. Oh, it's lovely to see so many people that turn up live for our JDE Release 25 session. Um, Release 25 is delivering on several fronts and very shortly and is going to show you the latest in the applications enhancements. There's further streamlining of your procure to pay processes, the new delinquency fee assignment feature to help better manage finances and upgraded tools to further improve inventory control and warehouse operations. Plus, of course, there are the digital transformation enhancements, which we will cover in our next session. Now, for those of you here who don't know Anne already, she is a very highly regarded JD Edwards specialist with more than 26 years under her belt. She won't like me saying that. Um, she's a very highly sought after JD Edwards trainer and consultant by our customers, and she is a wonderful presenter. But we know how precious time is, so this is a deliberately short presentation and we are recording it and the recording will be sent out to everyone who's registered. In the new year, we will actually also make the recording available on our YouTube channel where you can catch lots of our other past JD Edwards webinars, which include a lot of demonstrations as well. Um, questions are welcome and you can submit your questions using the questions tab on the GoToWebinar panel and every question will be addressed at the end. And without further ado, it is over to you, Anne. Sure. Thanks, Sasha. Okay, so um, what we're going to look at without any further ado is what the enhancements, the application enhancements for um, release that were that were delivered in release 25. So there's some in the financials area, some in the sales area, some in procurement and some in real estate. So in the financials area, there are two in, in particular. The first is around the delinquency fees, as Sasha mentioned, and the other one is an increased range of, of um, account IDs, um, F0901 account IDs. Let me show you a bit more detail. So on the delinquency fees, you can now choose whether you want to use the business unit of the invoice um, to charge the delinquency fees to, or whether you want to use the delinquent um, as before, the business unit from the address book. Basically, it's an there's an additional processing option under the fees tab on um, on the delinquency fee generation program and you just decide with a blank or a one where you want to pick up the business unit for the delinquency fees from. Then on the um, account IDs, we now can use alphanumerics. This is how we've got the increased range. So it's still eight long, but it's alphanumeric instead of numeric. You have to set it up. So first thing you have to do is go to the um, E1 system controls and make sure that this line that's highlighted, um, ALPNN, ALPNN, is uh, set to yes, that we use that. And secondly, you can go into the next numbers and set up a next number with an alpha in it, or you can just wait. And when the system gets to number, 9 million, 99 million, 999,999. The next number it will click over to will start with A, A 0000001, and so on and so forth. Or you can set it up. So either way, you, you can use alphanumerics now. The only proviso is that you the alpha has to be at the beginning. You can't have alpha stuck in the middle. Numeric, alphanumeric can't do that, okay? And I've tested it out and with this very imaginative account called new, and you see that it's allocated the number from my next numbers the with the alpha in it. It's still AID, no change there. So no other change except that it now allows for alpha in there as well. Okay, that's in the finance, the finance area. In the sales area, Oracle have delivered some enterprise automation options. This is, of course, where a lot of their focus is these days in enterprise automation. And so they've, they've delivered actually two options here. The first is 
a, um, a process page for Auditor Cash integrated with Warehouse. It's an E1 page and that um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. And the next is a process model template. Now I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a sec. So the Auditor Cash integrated with Warehouse is one of those um, process model pages. Okay, we've seen some of these in the past already. Um, and basically what it is, is it's they've taken this, a standard process flow for order to cash and mapped it out on an E1 page or on a series of E1 pages. For example, here the warehouse picking has its own process, sub process underneath here. So if you were to click on the warehouse picking file, it would take you to another E1 page with a sub process for warehouse picking. But um, the process, uh, the standard process has been mapped out here. Um, and of course, as with everything else that Oracle is delivering, you can change this, copy it, create a new one, modify it, change it to suit your own individual, your company's process or processes. You might have three or four different ones, however you see fit. And of course, as with all the other um, um, enterprise automation features, um, process models, this has, they've included on here, the watch lists, for example, on here's late orders, the late orders in the warehouse watch list on the sales order entry. So the watch lists that they've associated with each tile um, are things that are associated with each tile, for example. Okay. The other thing that they've included on this page are some um, uh, tabs, tiles below where you can click on them to go to charts and graphs that are related to. So in this case, for example, these are charts and graphs that are related to actually it's, if you look closely, you'll see it's a UX1 page related to late orders. And they've got similar thing for held orders and so on and, and whatever else is on here. The held orders, I think back orders is the other one. So that's the order to cash integrated with warehouse page. <clears throat> now, the order to cash process model template. When we get into the tools, you will see that uh, there's a new option that has been delivered, a new feature called the Enterprise Process Manager. And within the Enterprise Process Manager, Oracle have delivered this order to cash process model template. Underneath Manage Contents, you will now see, um, as long as it's been um, enabled, um, a new option called Processes. And when you click on that, it will take you to the templates where you can choose which template you want, in this case, the order to cash template. And what it will do is it will take that template, and I'll show you more about it, but it will take that template, the order to cash uh, template, and it will map it to, it will map out a process based on your order activity rules. So basically when you click the processes here it asks you what you want to create or which template you want to use you would pick this order to cash it takes the order activity rules from the order type and line type that you specify and it generates a process um, a process model for you now that process once you've got one process model generated you will find a new option under personalization called enterprise processes. And when you click there, you can see the process model that you've generated plus other process, well, all the process models that are available to you that have been generated and available to you. They look something like this, okay? So you can see here, for example, uh, we've got um, each of these uh, little things, let me get my, laser pointer going each of these things which are nodes okay and we've got links in between the nodes and it's basically taken each of the order activity rules and mapped them out and 
into nodes and into links between nodes. And you can decide exactly how you configure this. You can mon you can change it and so on. You take the template and you change it up as you like. The nice thing is that you've got this graphical view of what's going on, including the values and, and things like that, the number of orders, for example, at a specific status or the number of value, the, the value of orders at specific statuses and so on. But here on the right-hand side, you've got some the graphical representations showing the metrics either on the links or on the nodes or on the entire process so in the tools um, session a little later we'll have a closer look at this but basically from the apps point of view this template has been delivered so that you can now build process models um, with all the metrics included and so on. Okay. In procurement, the first two that were delivered here under the enterprise automation are the same, 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 but different from, um, from the, um, as the sales order side. So, First, there's the procure to pray integrated with warehouse process process map E1 page. Much the same with watch lists, with graphs, with everything that you need there and the flow. And of course, same as in sales, you can modify it as you see fit, what you need to see and so on. And then also we've got the, um, the procure to pray process model template that we'll be looking at a little bit more in the in the tools area as well. So I'm not going to take you into those. We've already spoken about them on the sales side, and these are the same things, but on the procurement side. Then the other one that, that's been delivered under procurement, which is something that those that use VMA have been waiting for the voucher match automation, is a two-way voucher match automation. Up until now, we've only had the ability to do voucher match automation on three-way matching from procurement. Now we've got the ability to do it on the two-way matching so we don't have to receive those purchase orders first. That's a really nice little um, enhancement for those that use VMA. And then under warehouse management, Oracle have delivered various enhancements to the license plate workbench um, basically usability enhancements, things like the ability to filter and search on uh, specific dates, um, all sorts of little things that um, have enriched the functionality of the license plate workbench. And then the last one that I want to, to talk about today is in real estate management. It's the ability to edit information, uh, tax information in the manual billing program. A small improvement or enhancement in manual billing that allows you to manage the tax information on manual billing a lot better than we have been able to do in the past. Okay, so those are the enhancements. There are a few others in areas that our customers don't necessarily use like uh, sustainability and so on. There are a few others. I encourage you to go and look at learnjde.com Everything is there, it's all detailed. You can uh, use, um, there are some Oracle by examples, there are some videos showing you this information. It's all there, learnjde.com. It's the resource to go to, to find out any additional information. Of course, you can always phone us at Endeavour. Thank you, Anne. We'll just wait a minute or two for some questions, um, but while we do that, I'll just in the gap with a little spruik for our services. So as you know, we've, we've got the largest team of skilled JDE consultants in the Australian New Zealand region, and we do deliver awesome support and training. And as well, we also deliver some exceptional JDE Woods-based solutions that help your organisation to continually evolve. Um, we're a full service JDE consultancy, so we provide everything you could need for your JDE system and end users, which includes implementations and upgrades, training, support and managed services, as well as cloud migrations and development and CNC services. 
Um, of course, if you need skilled resources or support over the holiday period, please just email info at endeavour.com.au to get started. Or of course, you can also email Tom Devine and Andrew Jenke directly. They're just tom.devine at endeavour.com.au or andrew.jenke at endeavour.com.au. Um, I do have one question that's come through. And um, the question is, apart from order to cash and procure to pay, are there any other enterprise automation models delivered? Um, not in release 25, but prior to release 25, there were quite a few um, already delivered. Like, um, I mean, the two that were delivered now were specifically order to cash and procure to pay um, with warehouse, with warehousing. Um, the standard order to cash and procure to pay were delivered in earlier releases. Also, um, requisition to receipts, shipment to dispatch, these have already been delivered in prior releases. Yeah. Okay. okay but currently, it's just right. these two that manage the warehouse as well. Well, that is the only question I've received so far. So, righto, everyone, now's a chance to stretch your legs, grab a quick bite to eat, and we will see most of you again, plus a few extras for the next session, which will begin at 12. Right. Thank Thanks you very much for joining us.